Hey guys, it's Void Concept here. So it is June 1st, which means that the combat beta uh, signups are available. And everybody, I believe, even non-member players, are given a combat beta contact, um, which if you read will take you to another website and will sign, or will let you sign up for the combat beta. Uh, so everybody who has had a um, consecutive membership for over a year, uh, such as me and a lot of other people, will be automatically admitted into the beta, have full access through the whole entire thing. And then another 50,000 people of, or 50,000 of the most active people will also be, um, like, allowed into the uh, beta. And for everybody who doesn't get into the beta, they're uh, allowing everybody to get into it on weekends. So even if you aren't chosen, you'll be able to play through it. Um, so I'm going to click this. It'll probably kick my recording and uh, log me out. I'm not sure. I haven't clicked this or seen anybody who has. So um, here we go. Yes, I want to sign up. Oh, it's a new window. Alright, so... I'm going to pause my recording and try to get it so that it will... Um, perhaps we'll see the other page. Be right back. Alright, so here's the Combat Beta webpage uh, on the website. And I guess who you, what you could have done is just signed in and gone to runescape.com slash combat. Um, it may log you in, I'm not sure. But there's a thing here for latest updates, which of course is the signups, and they have an OG blog. I'm not sure what OG stands for, but it's like a developer's blog, I'm guessing. I've not read through it yet, but I will... Um, after I'm done with this. <laughs> Alright, so, big button in the middle, beta sign up. Ah, uh, log in. Alright, and that easy is signing in, I guess. Congratulations, as a highly valued member in our community, you are all automatically eligible to take part in the Evolution of Combat beta. On the 26th of June, you'll be able to log into the beta servers to take part. Return to the Combat HQ for more information. Um, easy as that. I guess if you do not have the 12 months consecutive membership, um, you would uh, it would say something different, like you are entered in the and or you have been entered and will be chosen uh, later. E don't worry if you don't get chosen; you can still log on on weekends. Something like that. Um, again, not quite sure. Um, so yeah, that's easy as that. Um, so I guess I'll hop back over to RuneScape and talk about some other stuff. Alright, so I'm back in game again. Um, and I still have this combat beta, uh, contract. Which, let's see, if I read it again. Uh... It, it still thinks I want to sign up for it. Let me head to this bank over here. Um, oh, I'm going to go through the laggy area over here. Oh, well. Um, so, another th thing I wanted to talk about was the behind the scenes for this June. Um, there's only three updates listed on there, uh, which means there's going to be a week without an update this month. So the things on there are the fish flingers improvements, which I don't think anybody does really. Uh, I'm, yeah, again, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't know if I've ever done it actually, <laughs> um, but they're also requiring the highest reward to be uh, like a completion completionist cape requirement which they said in the behind the scenes video that they had and 
I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about fish flingers. It's a uh, highly popular in their eyes, but not really in actual sense of popular. Um, so I guess I'll move on. Wait, wait, just a second. Oh, and for the uh, fish flingers, the Squeal of Fortune will be temporarily renamed to the Squeal of Neptune. whoop -dee. And there will be new cosmetic fish-themed attire. Okay, moving on. The Crucible, Return to Bounty Hunter. I know a lot of people are waiting for this. I know I'm not waiting for this. <laughs> um, but it's going to be like a um, new form of P PKing. You know, like the old uh, Bounty Hunter was. But instead of being in the Bounty Hunter volcano, it's going to be, I guess, this giant like building that you get to fight in. And I have no idea what's going to go on here. I I should have read through this um, before, but it looks like the entire area is based around solo play, so no multi-way combat, and combat can only be engaged between two targets, so no rushing or PJ. I hope that makes some of you guys excited. But, again, I don't PK, so I don't care, and I'm... No, I'm giving you a great view of this wall right here. And I'm not going to go get anything in there. Okay, so I'll just bank stand, I guess. <laughs> um, so, players gain points through noble actions, not running away from uh, combat, and victories. So, I guess no teleporting out, no running away. Uh unless you don't want any points. Uh, so I guess it's a point system. I have no idea what the rewards are. I'm guessing this is where the god uh, like sword thingy is going to be. Um, no, not god swords as in like from god wars, but that one sword thing that they mentioned a while ago. I'm, yeah, it says they're going to be bringing in new weapons, um, and that's pretty much all I've read so far, and I'm not going to worry about the rest. And then, of course, the big thing that I'm waiting for is the combat beta. Sadly, it's going to be at the end of the month, and I won't really have any real content to enjoy between there, or new content, I should say because I'll probably check out Fish Flingers on day of release, and then The Crucible on day of release, of course bringing nothing. <laughs> um, and But the combat beta, of course, I'm going to be playing through this whole the whole time, pretty much. I, I don't think I'm going to get very many uh, levels on actual RuneScape uh, in that time. So, I guess that's it for the behind-the-scenes and the combat beta rework. Oh yeah, Mad May Rewards and Cryptic Clue Fest. So, Cryptic Clue Fest is starting today, even though it kind of, they kind of made it sound like they it started on Tuesday. It's actually today. Um, and then the, um, what's it called, the... Um, Diamond Jubilee starts tomorrow. So, uh, and also the Mad May rewards. Uh, there's an XP, XP boosting Mad Necklace, uh, which will give you bonus experience up to 250k uh, bonus experience. I will, of course, be using this on Agility. <laughs> And uh, so I'll be getting 500k agility experience. That's going to be so fun. But, um, <laughs> and then you get some loyalty points as well. And they're still determining the list. 
I actually got a message when I first logged in saying Diango had it for me, so I'm going to go right there. Alright, I'm here at Diango. Let's see how to get it. Um, do you have anything else? Aha, Mad Necklace and Ice Mask. So, yeah, the, there it is. Check charges. Still 100% of its power, and I guess that's it. I'm assuming there's no stats on it at all. Nope, didn't think so. Alright, so... Ah, oh, yes, about the Oblivion in a Day video that I'm supposed to have out today. Um, I have not rendered another one, and by the time it would be rendered, um, I would be gone already, and I don't want to give my brother my password to my computer um, <laughs> so that he could upload it. Uh, so it will be on Monday. Sorry about that again, although doesn't really seem to have too, too much support behind it. Um, and I guess I will see you guys next Tuesday.